welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda, and today I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys. So basically, if you guys have not been watching me, I just went to Florida, and then I went to, actually, I don't know if you guys will have seen this yet. Well, you'll already get a sneak peek, so that'll be good for you. In one of my upcoming vlogs, there is going to be me going to the Taylor Swift concert and then me and my best friend from high school, Juliana, went shopping afterwards at the Rentham Outlets, which was near Gillette Stadium where the concert was. So we like stayed overnight, went shopping the next day. It was so much fun. So I'm going to be showing you everything I got before I went to Florida, a few things while I was in Florida, and then when I went on my little shopping spree the other day. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, be sure to just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this in order. I apologize if it ends up being a little bit scattered. First thing I'm gonna show you guys are these sneakers. You guys would have seen these on my Instagram if you follow me, at Amanda Louisa YT. I wore these when we went to Animal Kingdom, and they are so comfy, you guys. I originally, okay, so I'm a little extra. What is in here? Nasal spray. Hashtag chronic sinus infection probs. I bought shorts to go with these and I guess I should have brought those up here to show you guys, but I think they're still in my suitcase. <laughs> I'll clip in a picture of me wearing them here. I bought some shorts at, I actually might have shown you guys them in a past haul because I've had them for a while. I bought some shorts from Windsor stores and they're literally just this pink color. They're kind of like, I'll show you these in a minute, but like this kind of style shorts but they're this pink color with the white stripe on them. And I was like, you know, it would be a really cute outfit to just have like a white tank on and some matching sneakers. And I'm ridiculous and went through with that. So these are so, so, so comfortable though. They're the Soft Foam Comfort Shoes by Puma. And they're really cute too. They're really, really squishy. And it's like a memory foam bottom. So seriously, your foot just like sinks into it. Oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. I really, really love them and definitely recommend them if you're looking for a comfy shoe. Another thing I got to go to Disney, which I've had tons of questions about, are these sunglasses. These are from Target. They had like a Mickey Mouse collection for a little while. I think they're like finishing up at the Target near me, so I'm not sure if they're still available. You might be able to find them online. But they're kind of like the knockoff like Gucci glasses, but they say Mickey Mouse. Like how cute could you be? So cute. The next things that I'm going to be showing you guys are from Boohoo and... I was so, so, so excited for this. And if you guys watched my vlog, you would have probably already heard about this. So I'm extra, ridiculously extra. We already know this. I probably already said that 17 times during this video and we've been filming for four minutes. I like to have set airplane outfits. I know, I'm ridiculous, I know. So basically, where I live, I feel like I can't express like my sense of style because like it's I feel like very like New York street style kind of ish I don't know very like I don't know I don't know how to explain it it's kind of all over the place but like I feel like I just can't wear the things I want to wear here because people will be like what is she wearing but if you were in New York that's like you'd see it everywhere kind of thing or like LA yeah so I got these things because I was like, I can wear them on the plane and no one will think anything of it. And yeah, well, they didn't come in time. So just a little heads up, if you're ordering something from Boohoo and you need it for a certain period of time, even if the regular shipping says it's going to get here on time, it probably won't because mine said it was going to and it didn't. I was really, really angry. I even contacted their like customer service people and they were like, oh yeah, it's gonna be there in time, like no problem. It wasn't. And I was so, so, so angry. It didn't come, it was supposed to come on, it was supposed to come the Wednesday before I left. That was like the final, like it said like, I don't know, five to seven business days shipping. So I figured even if they ran over two days, I would still have it before I left. Nope, it came the Tuesday after I left. So literally like a week later, like six days later than it should have. So I was furious. So um, I would have paid the extra money for like express shipping if I didn't think it was going to be here on time, you know? So just be careful of that. So what I got, you guys have probably seen it. And I literally like the first time I saw Kim K start wearing bicycle shorts, I was like, what is that? And here we are with bicycle shorts. Wow, this looks so unattractive off. <laughs> so I got um, two sets. It comes with a bandeau, 
in the bicycle shorts. I got this in black as well. And these came with the bandeau as well. And then I got this jacket to go over it. I saw Daisy O'Donnell wearing it, so obviously I had to get it, you know? That's just how it works. So I was thinking I could like put the black bicycle shorts and the bandeau under this, wear the jacket, and it would have been super cute, and yeah, I didn't get to. And like, this is just so something I would not wear around here, so I'm just like really annoyed. I guess I'll have to like go to New York or something for a day, I don't know. And I know it's stupid, people are gonna be like, you should wear whatever you feel comfortable in anywhere, but like, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it around here because I feel like I would just get stares everywhere I go. So, another thing I got for my sorority girls out there, I ordered this Delta Gamma sweatshirt. This is from UT's, I think. Okay, I think it is from UT's. Basically, um, we have a shirt swap page so you can like start shirt orders, buy other people's shirts that they already own, stuff like that. So, they started an order and I ordered this. This was originally going to be my like plain outfit because it was cozy and you know still kind of cute with like some tan sneakers but this also is not here in time <laughs> so alrighty so now I'm gonna hop into something else that I picked up after I got to Florida but it was just because I didn't get to my PO box in time I wanted to show you guys this stuff literally so cute so the sweetest girl Michaela reached out to me she is the owner of shop Lily Ann boutique it's an online boutique literally adorable and she reached out to me and she was like hey I wanted you to pick out some of your favorite things and I want to send them to you so it was really hard to pick just three things but I did it I might have to go back and order some more because literally everything on the site is so cute the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is this skirt. Okay, how many times have I told you guys that this is the most flattering thing on literally every leg type in the whole world? Short legs, skinny legs, it just makes everyone look taller and thinner and like ugh, literally so flattering. I also picked out this skirt. Actually, this is also a skirt. I love skirts. I hate wearing skirts because I feel like I'm flashing the entire world. So... Let me just tie this up so you can get a good idea. So, this is the other skirt. I'm going to show you guys all these on, obviously. So, it ties in the front. It's so, so, so cute and so flattering on. And then to go with it, I picked out this blue bodysuit with these little ruffled detailing on the like, straps. Oh my gosh, guys. So cute. They look so good together. And if you want to twin with me, you can go and check out her boutique at www.shoplilyann.com and you can get 20% off your order with the code AMANDA20. I will have her linked down below. We'll definitely go check her out and show her some love. Alrighty, so now I'm going to jump into what I got while I was in Florida. So first, I'm going to show you this. This is just um, a t-shirt that I got from the resort we stay at. Just thought this was so cute. Has a little pirate doggy on it. I love, love, love comfort collared t-shirts. They're so comfortable and they're just, the, the like, I don't know. The shades are just good on every skin color. They make you look kind of tan because they're like faded. I don't know. I love them. Next, I'm going to be trying to show you everything I got at Zara. I go to Zara every single time I'm in Florida um, in Disney Springs because we don't have one near where I live, so gotta take advantage. First, I, I sh oh my gosh, is there a pen on this? Hello, how'd that happen? <laughs> I showed you guys kind of quickly some of these things in my like little try-on segment in my Disney vlog, but I'm gonna show you again. So these are just, these like white, they're not like, sweatpants they're like classy sweatpants i feel like like trendy sweatpants i don't know so they have like the stretchy waistband they have some pockets they have these cute stripe detailing down the side they're almost like like i don't know like dressy but like not i don't know I think they're really cute. I love them. I'm just grabbing what I see. I'm not doing this in any like particular order. Next thing I got are these like fake Balenciagas. I am obsessed. Obviously, you know my craze for red right now. If you follow me on Instagram, Amanda Louise YT. So had to, had to, had to get these. And they're so comfortable. I have a bunion for those of you who don't know. So anything that's like ridiculously stretchy, 
makes my feet really happy. The next thing I got is Zara are these pants. They are kind of like, um, what? I can't talk. This is not the day to be doing this. They're like these long, flowy pants. Most of these style pants do not fit me because I'm so short. And these ones are literally the perfect length. So I had to get them. They'd just be cute thrown with like a white tank, you know. I love them. The next thing I got from Zara, I also needed to have. These cute little floral shorts with this little scalloped kind of like ruched something detailing on the pocket. Like how cute. And I was thinking it would match my green like wicker purse. So, obsessed. I believe that's all I got from Zara. Moving on to American Threads. I also go here every single time I'm in Florida in Disney Springs. They have such cute stuff. I was actually like really upset because the amount of things I picked up and tried on, I was seriously walking through the store going, oh my God, oh, oh my God, oh my, oh my God, oh my, like seriously, I wouldn't shut up. I only left with one thing. Everything looked better on the rack than I did on me because I'm like sure and it was upsetting to say the least. But I mean it saved my wallet so should we complain? Probably not. I got this little also a skirt. Apparently I'm into skirts. I hate skirts and I don't really wear dresses so like skirts are like the perfect, the perfect little in between. So I thought this was so cute and like this washed coloring has two little ties over here it's kind of almost like similar to the style of the one i showed you from a shop lily ann but it's different this next thing i'm going to show you guys is from free people and before you freak out i never shop at free people because it's so expensive and it's just not worth it to me like it's beautiful i like literally i think i went in the first year that Disney Springs was in Disney, like, like open, and I left, um, close to tears. This time, when we were walking by, my mom was like, Amanda, Free People is having a sale, and I was like, <laughs> don't tell me that. So, she was like, just go in and look, and I'll only let you look at the sale stuff. So, literally, anytime my eyes strayed, my mom was like, eh, no, no, sale. So, we went in, and we left with one purchase. I wanted multiple things that were not on sale, but we didn't do it. So, I got this little green skirt. I thought it was just so cute. Kind of like tattered at the bottom. I just really love it and it fits really nice. The, I love the little detailing on it. I love it. And I forgot how much I paid for this. I might have like thrown the tag in here. Like I think it might have been like $16 or something like that. Which is like unheard of for free people. So... I needed it. Alrighty, so the next thing, uh, we went to TJ Maxx, obviously, and you guys saw my suitcase. I don't have it in here, but it's a big, pink, pretty suitcase that I showed you guys on my Instagram. So I bought that because my suitcase on the way down was 49 pounds. <laughs> and they can only be 50. So um, I checked in another suitcase under Evan's name in Beat the System. But while I was also at TJ Maxx, I got this sweatshirt. This is by Calvin Klein. And it's just like kind of faded. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. It was in the women's section. I'm a little mad because it's a size medium. And usually I'd be like an extra small in women. So I was like, this is going to be oversized. It's going to be so cute with like boyfriend jeans or like white ripped jeans. And it like is not that oversized at all. So, but whatever. I still thought it was cute. Also from TJ Maxx, I got these earrings. I just, I couldn't leave without them. I put them down and I was like, no, no, no. These are one of those things where you leave and then you regret your whole life. So, here they are. My papa got me this shirt when he went to the ESPN store. And I wasn't with him, but he gave it to me when we were at the airport. If you're not aware, my papa is like my favorite person in the entire world. He is like the sweetest man ever. He would give you the shirt right off his back. He is just like, there needs to be more of him in the world. So... He's so cute, and everyone always jokes around because I'm, like, really, really, really strong for how, like, tiny I am. Um, so don't mess with me, okay? <laughs> Kidding. But, um, so he got me this shirt that says, strong is beautiful, and I think this is so cute. So this will be the perfect shirt to go work out in. He's literally the cutest person alive. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you guys this, too. 
I told you about this in my vlog and then I didn't show you. Oh my god, I'm breaking things. This is the and sign with the little air plant in it that I was telling you guys about in my vlog. How cute is this? This woman hand makes them. I don't know if... Oh, this must be her. Okay, so if you guys want to check out her website, my mom embarrassed me and went up to the woman and was like, um, so my daughter has a YouTube channel and she might show you on it. So do you have a business card? And I was like, mom, stop. I hate telling people because like, I feel like that makes you seem like you think you're like superior because you make videos in your bedroom. Like, I'm not. So I hate... I hate telling people. That's why I don't tell anyone. So, yeah. Um, but she didn't have one. But I guess this must be her brand. It's called Live Trends. I'm going to try to find the um, website. And I'll link it down below for you guys. So if you guys know me at all, you know that Cinderella's Castle, Disney, the fireworks at the castle are me. I want to live in the castle. And um, please let me move in ASAP. Thank you. So... I obviously had to get this. It says, if you need me, I'll be in my castle. And it's pink glitter and it has the castle on it. And so, um, yes. Even my mom was like, yeah, they made that for you. And I was like, thank you. Okay, I believe that that is everything I got while I was in Florida. So now we're going to move on to the shopping afterwards. One of the first stops we made was Lululemon, and this was, they were the outlets, so everything is kind of, like, on sale. They have deals for everything. I, like, refuse to buy anything from Lululemon full price unless it's, like, a headband, so here we go. These shorts, I am obsessed with them. I've already worn them way more than I'd like to admit. They are so cute. I love them so much. Um, For sizing reference, I'm usually like a small extra, well probably like small for pants, like extra small for shirts and stuff. Um, Most places. And these are a size 4 and they fit me perfect. Like usually I'd be like a 0, like 2-ish. So they do run very, very, very small there. Another thing I got from Lululemon, it's tied around my waist right now. This is, I have the tag for this one. The... Pack light half zip pullover. It is so cute, you guys. So, looks like this. Zips halfway down. So cute. Um, this one is a little, I don't want to say small on me. It, like, fits perfectly. If you want it to not be, like, tight or, like, fit you completely right, I would definitely go, like, a size or two up. This is a size two. This was the biggest size they had because it is, like, the outlets so they don't have like every size multiple different colors and stuff um but it does fit me like perfectly like the sleeves are like right the perfect length like the bottom is like the perfect length it's definitely not oversized but i really really love it um this was originally 118 dollars it was on sale for 89 and then quarter or like half zips were another 20 dollars off so i still paid like 69 for this but like this is something i will wear literally all of the time um, and for Lululemon, honestly, like I said, the original price was $118, which I would never, ever, ever pay. Another place we went while we were there was Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley was having literally the sale of the century. It was crazy. Everything was so cheap. So I got a few things. First of all, I'm obsessed with this pattern. This is like my favorite Vera Bradley pattern that I've ever seen. And so this is like a little pencil pouch or like a brush pouch, like for your makeup brushes. I figured I had... A pencil pouch last year that didn't like I couldn't find easily in my backpack this will stand out or even if I just want to throw some makeup in here I feel like that will work really really well so I got this and then I got the matching iPad case I've been looking for an iPad case and just haven't gotten one yet and so I thought this would be super cute and matching and I just I love it these are like they just make you happy they're happy colors we also ran into this little like discount like beauty store type thing and they had se gel nail polishes on sale like the two-step ones and this like matches the nail color i've been getting so i figured i could get it for my toes well, this was great i think this was like seven bucks for like both things which is a really good deal another place we went while we were there is columbia i just got this little like um kind of like a half button up jacket the sleeves inside out <laughs> and these are like dg colors so I had to get it. They're, it's just so cute. And it kind of reminds me of like a Patagonia. Patagonias are obnoxiously expensive. I forget how much this was. 
Let's see. The original price was $50 and I got it for $19.79. And it's like good quality like fleece material. I thought it was super, super cute. I met my mom in line while she was at Ann Taylor Loft. And this was at the counter. And I take this phrase way too literally. So I had to get this. I have like a little tiny um, coin pouch in my wallet. And it just is so hard to get things out of. And I can't like reach in there and just like grab a penny. I have to like dump everything out. And so I thought this would be the perfect little change purse. And it's so cute. It's got a little tassel and everything. The last place we went while we were there was Adidas, and this is one of the things I got. I absolutely love this hat. It matches my favorite leggings. These are not Adidas, but I love them. I wear them all the time, and I thought it would be cute to just, like, throw on, go to the gym when you're, like, having a bad hair day, you know. I don't know. Here we are. Another thing I got was these sweatpants. These are kind of more like joggers because they're, like, tight at the bottom, they're like a kind of like tannish color with the black stripes. And they're not like too, too fitted. Like I said, they're kind of like joggers. Um, I just thought they'd be cute with like some slides. It's a black tank. Like a hat or something. You know what I mean? A hat. I just thought they'd be so cute. Because I hate wearing sweatpants like out of the house. But these are like trendy kind of. And so I feel like I could get away with wearing them out of the house. I also got this t-shirt dress. I don't know if it's supposed to be a dress, but it fits me like a dress. It's just like a gigantic oversized t-shirt, yellow, obviously. I thought this was so cute. I needed it when I tried it on. Alrighty, I believe that's it from the outlets as well. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. My dad got me this polo hat while we were in Florida at the outlets um, because he was getting one and I was like, oh, I've always wanted one of those like white polo hats. And he was like, oh, we'll share it. And then he got me one of my own, which is really sweet. So here it is. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. We also went to J. Crew while we were at the outlets. And I got this, like, puffer vest. Puffer vest is not the right word, is it? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I actually bought a vest while we were in Columbia. Because I've always, like, I've wanted a black vest for so long. I only have a white one. And I try to wear it all the time. But I get makeup on it and then I hate wearing it, you feel? So I wanted a black one. And I bought one at Columbia, then I saw this one here. This one was even cheaper, and I just like this one better. So I went back and returned the one at Columbia, and I got this one instead. Really, really, really cute. Alrighty, so now, home from that shopping, we did some more shopping. So I ran into Target last night for, like, a spray bottle to water that plant I showed you, and got more than that. My mom pointed this out and it says avocado holic and obviously I needed it. Um, I have literally just wanted to eat an entire raw avocado by itself every single day for the past like five months and so I had to you know embrace it. I thought this would be cute just throwing on like a jean jacket over it, some like leggings, even some like Birkenstocks or something. I don't know. I just thought this was so cute. I also got these and my mom was like, are you Muhammad Ali? And I was like, yeah, he must have been in style. So they're like these silk shorts. I just, again with the color red, I'm just loving it and I can't stop myself. So I thought this would even be cute with like the fake Balenciagas. Like, come on. It's, like, a little bit out there, but, like, I'm here for it. I keep forgetting to show you guys things. This is also from J. Crew. It's just, like, a little, like, chain link bracelet, but it's tortoise shell prints. Gotta love it. And then I believe this is the final thing I'm going to show you. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think I am. So, um, I never really shop at, like, I don't know if, like, consignment store is the right word. There's not really, like, a reason why I don't shop there. I just, like, never really think to go there, I guess. I guess the few times I've been, I haven't found things, but I have friends that go all the time, and they find such cute things. So, I started following the Play-Doh's closet near me. You can ask them to hold things for you, and they, like, hold them to you for the end of the day, and you can come and pick them up, which I think is really cool. So, I followed them, turned on my post notifications, don't. Don't copy me and don't steal my stuff, okay? The other day, they posted 
two pairs of Lily Pulitzer shorts and you know your girl hopped right on it because I love Lily but not enough to like spend the full price on it anymore. Like I went through this phase where like I wanted everything and I was willing to spend like $500 in the store and I'm just not anymore. But I still love it, I think it's so cute. But it's more of like a every so often kind of thing. You know, it's not like my everyday style. So they posted a picture of these shorts. They're literally like brand new. I think the person probably wore them like once and I'm obsessed with them. They're always a little bigger on the waist for me. Um, these are size zero. I usually get a double zero, even those are a little bigger on the waist for me, actually. Not gonna lie, I brought my Lily Pulitzer shorts to Florida that I already owned. They're size double zero, and they used to be bigger on the waist on me, and I have washed them a few times. They were not bigger on the waist anymore, and I'm hoping that they just shrunk, and I did not grow. <laughs> I don't know. These are zero, they're a little big on me. Um, I might try washing them, and maybe they'll shrink a little bit. Um, but yeah, I thought they were so cute, and such a good deal. They literally just posted something while I was about to start filming. And let's see. So while we were at the outlets, they we went in the Kate Spade store and they had this purse that was like black and white striped, had like a I don't know if it's a jalapeno pepper, like the red spicy looking peppers, and it said extra spicy on it, and the like zipper was literally like one of the peppers. And I wanted it so bad, and I don't even know why I wanted it, probably because it had red on it and the black and white stripes. And basically, I want my apartment to be, like, white with green plants and, like, black and white stripes. So I think it just, like, had all of my favorite things in one, and I just, like, couldn't help it. But they were literally, like, $600 for, like, a crossbody, like, a tiny little crossbody. They literally posted a picture of the extra spicy bag. Like, it's not a great quality picture, but, like, that's what it looks like. For $35. So, I asked them to hold it for me, um, except I have work in, like, an hour. So, I'm hoping that my mom can stop by and pick it up for me, and I'll just pay her back later. Because, like, that's God telling me that I need it, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to include this in here because I've had so many questions about this. I also just got this from a thrift store, um, like the consignment shop that I got the Lily Pulitzer shorts from. So don't count out thrift stores, guys. I'm sure it's not real, but I literally paid $20 for this, and I think it's so cool. So, my head is so itchy from wearing a hat. I hate wearing hats. I don't hate it, I just, it gets so itchy. Oh, I also need to show you guys something I forgot. I did get in Florida because I, I got questions about it. For the girl that commented on my video for the end of my vlog asking if that was an avocado blanket on my bed. Definitely might have been. <laughs> look how cute. Okay, that was obnoxious. They just, look at, they're so happy. Okay, they're upside down, hold on. Look it, they're so happy. This is so cute. All right, my loves. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed um, living through my obnoxious shopping addiction. If you guys are not already part of my IG fam, be sure to go and follow me on there at Amanda Louise YT and join my lovely little YouTube fam as well by subscribing down below. I love you guys so, so, so much and don't forget to live lovely. I will see you in my next video. Bye.